big buzz around the NBA is about the baddest of NBA boys, Dennis Rodman. Oh my goodness, Rodman just kicked the photographer. He's been missing in action since the start of the season. The ex-boy toy of Madonna is known as the cross-dressing, hair color changing freak, or rather, personality of the NBA. Since 1996, he's played for the Chicago Bulls, where his hustle and defense helped make Chicago three-time NBA champions. But this year, he's looked for a new club. Despite his talent, many teams have shied away from Rodman because of his often explosive and disruptive nature. But it looks like the LA Lakers are willing to take a chance. After a slow start, LA is in need of someone to help big Shaquille O'Neal in the middle. With the enigmatic Rodman, nothing is ever set in stone. So stay tuned, we'll keep you up to date. Los Angeles, California. Hollywood is in the north and the Great Western Forum, home of the Lakers, is in the south. It's another full house to see plenty of basketball and celebrities. It's rare that Jack Nicholson has to share top billing, but look who's sitting next to him. Michael Jordan watching yeah. former teammates Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman today. Scottie Pippen is now starring for Houston, who were wearing the visiting team's blue kit, while Dennis Rodman was donning the famous Laker gold. His wife Carmen Electra looked on and joined the fans in giving her hubby a big welcome. Rodman was excited and ready to return the favour to his fans. He knows his job on the team is to rebound and play his trademark tough defence. It was also an important game for the Rockets' Charles Barkley returning from injury. He quickly got into the groove as Houston took an early lead. Barkley with an emphatic follow, signalling his return after being out with an injury. Part of LA's struggle this season has been due to their inability to win rebounds and their lack of hustle. In this game, Robin was showing how he can change all that. His energetic play became contagious and the Lakers started to make a comeback. Travis Knight battling to keep it alive. Kobe. Shaq. Look out below. Kobe splits two defenders. Pretty basket. Jones. Misses the three, but Shaq most definitely does not miss the two. After a close first half, the game was tied. But at the start of the second, Houston looked to take the lead behind the scoring of Scottie Pippen. Scotty, oh, left hand. Oh, what a beautiful move by Scottie Pippen. On this dunk by center Hakeem Olajuwon, the Rockets had built a 10-point lead. Shaquille O'Neal and the Lakers were looking tired. They needed a spark, but they turned to bench player Rick Fox. Three seconds to shoot. Fisher misses. Rodman chases it down. Great hustle play there by Rodman. Again, the intangibles that he brings. See if they can take advantage of the offensive rebound. The jumper by Fox is good for three. Fox provided instant offense for the Lakers and helped them make another comeback. He did not miss a shot the entire game as LA took the lead in the fourth quarter. And Fox for three. Well, Rick Fox has been terrific off the bench for the Lakers. Out to Fox. Fox's 21 points in the second half made new Laker coach Kurt Rambis smile. The Lakers pulled out to a big lead, so it was time to relax and try to impress his airness Michael Jordan. The prince of the NBA, Kobe Bryant, put his skills on display. Kobe. Scotty Pippen that's playing and watch this move, watch Scotty just locks him, he actually is out of the picture when he makes the jump shot. You think Kobe in his mind doesn't know that Michael Jordan's sitting over there right now critiquing everything that he does? A big win for the Lakers as they take the game 100s to 90 and seem to be back on the right track. They have been playing better basketball since the arrival of Dennis Rodman. Why? Just ask Dennis. Everyone in this world knows what I can do and what I can bring to a team. I bring excitement, I bring a lot of hustle, enthusiasm, and this team needs something right now. They need a little leadership, and uh, I thought I'd never say that. But, uh, you know, I'm on a different team with good, good young guys. Forget those high-paid celebrity players. It was a relatively unknown Rick Fox who stole the limelight, scoring 15 points in the fourth quarter for the Lakers. Four of his baskets were long-range shots from outside the 22-foot arc, and they're worth three points each. When a player gets hot like that, just watch the points stack up. The jumper by Fox is good for three. And Fox for three. Well, Rick Fox has been terrific off the bench for the Lakers. Out to Fox. With the arrival of Scottie Pippen in Houston, many people thought veteran squad would do well. However, right now, the LA looks stronger.